Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install Gen Desktop 7.7 installation step by step guide. Let's have an idea about the installation environment. This is my Active Directory. Uh, this is my member server 2012. Uh, this is my client mission which is going to deliver to the remote users. And you can see my all the uh, client names and the IP address and the other things. Uh, my domain the, is asha.com. So let's have an idea about what then desktop means. So uh, we are sharing the our remote desktop, our desktop which is to the end users for any device. It's a mobile or thin client or anything which is running actual server. You can operate in a mobile also, tablet also. If the user get ultimate performance. The user believe it's running on its own device. Like the uh, it's look like magic. All this possible through ICA protocol. So what? We need to check the basic all the things should be part of the domain whether it's a member server firewall should be stop and the, the, we need to check the communication between the domain controllers and the check ns lookup for all machines what is nfs lookup means the dns resolution for all the machine. whenever you type the mission name it gives the ip address whenever you type the uh, ip address it gives the ip uh, system name I will show you once, uh, no problem. And we need to log in everywhere in the domain administrator privileges. And we have initial data 3.5 or later. So this is my member server. <coughs> and uh, I, I will show you how to add the domain. Go to properties. And here I already added. For you, I am just showing. Change settings. By default, uh, change. By default, you are in work group. And click on the domain. And type asha.com and type the administration privileges of asha.com and restart your pc so i have added to the, uh, to the member server you have to like add, uh, add it to the clients and you need to turn off the, all the firewalls domain firewall and public firewall and private firewall okay and open the command prompt here ping the communication for the domain controller yes it's pinging means i have the communication with the domain controller so my whole computer name is gen desktop 77 if you type n ns lookup gen desktop 77 it gives the server ip address and my ip address so by mistakenly i have typed and uh, missed the 77 assume that if you get this error even you type the correct name i will show you how to do that Go to Active Directory uh, and go to the tools and D open DNS. Open DNS. And open forward lookup zone and open your domain.com. Here my dot com is asha.com and right click on that and click new host. Here you can see my Dendex already is having for your understanding. I am showing Dendex Type the host name and type the IP address of your member server. Wrongly mapping will lead to Mr. and uh, what is a results. So type in, uh, sure to make the IP is same or not and type the IP 10.0.0.18 and allow the authentication due to DNS yeah like this if you don't get that DNS solution like that you need to add the host record in your active directory sorry uh, 77 so it is giving my AD directory and my IP address so NS lookup is correctly matched so the resolution is having so no problem so now in the server you need to install uh, uh, .NET 3.5 framework for this add roles next 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 here I already installed for your reference how I am showing and we install delivery controller in the member server configure site in delivery controller Install VDA in Windows 7, configure mission catalogs and configure delivery groups. Make sure the system should be registered. Create for store friend and delivery groups and see the desktop delivery. Here I am going to the first step. 
ओके गो टू सी डी डी वी डी अंद ब्रउज जेन डेस्कटा सेवेंटी सेवन ई एस ओ जेन डेस्क सेवेंटी नई एस ओ अंड मेक् शूर दीज टू आर् कनेक्टेड अंड गो टू मै कंप्यूटर आफ्टर दट अंड अब्लिक दट अंड क्लीक स्टार्ट जेन डेस्कटा From 7.7, the Gen Desktop Gen Desk uh, as an app is combined. So click on Delivery Controller. Uh, so I have to click select I have read and understand. Click Next. Next, I am installing all the Next. So by default, I am installing Server Express 2. In real time, we have another separate dedicated database. For your understanding, so select all. Next, next install. So for you, it, uh, this installation part will take for more than one hour. The delivery controller is in going to install studio is a click on finish. Now the strict studio is going to open. Now this here we need to deliver the desktop. The deliver desktop means we need to create first site. Here you can see the site setup. Click on that and it will be prompt. Type your site name. I am typing here my Asha dot Asha. And it's a database. It's already I have installed in the local host only. Okay next I already installed in the license server only. By default we have thirty days grace period for testing. Next, so here I don't have any hypervisor for that. For that purpose, I am selecting none. It's a physical catalog. Next, next. No. Finish. So we successfully installed the delivery controller in our member server. So we have created the site, uh, site and delivery in the delivery controller. Minimize this and go to Windows Seven and go to Settings and mount the CD DVD of Gen App Gen Desktop Seven Point Seven. Click OK. My computer. Click on Gen Desktop Gen App. And click that. Here we need to install deliver uh, virtual delivery engine for Windows Seven. No need to worry. It all silated automatic the system by detecting the system. Create a master image. Next, next. No, we don't have any graphic card. Next, do it. Here we need to enter the delivery controller. Uh, we already installed, right? So go to this and command command prompt and check the host name. Host name here my host name Gen Desktop seventy seven. Copy this and go to the here. We need to add Gen Desktop seven along with our domain name and means Gen Desktop seventy seven dot asha dot com. Test connection. If you pass only, then only add that. Okay, next. Select next. We don't have any personal widgets. Uh, select default all. For uh, for next. Next.
actually it is going to deliver installing in within one hour but i am sure i am cutting the speed up the process speeding the process Citrix is going to install. Then desktop and VDA agent in client are successfully installed in Windows 7 service pack 1. So after that it will get restarted. It's uh, restarted. Uh, login with domain administration credentials. Check the name of that PC, hostname, text, just copy that and go to the then the member server where you install the site and you can open the Citrix Studio from the uh, from here on so here onwards and create the mission groups. Mission groups means we are creating VDA uh, where we install the VDA missions together means we are creating a mission catalog so we have installed desktop voice right on video so select the desktop and another service technology next next here we need to install are the computers where we where we need to install the active video agent and the name can be optional so for our understanding purpose we need to give our one name and we have created the mission catalogs now we need to create here the power sheet should be registered and if you get unregistered the desktop is won't deliver to the users now we can create want to create the delivery group delivery groups for whom we need to assign the delivery so we have installed one desktop so right we need to add one and we need to create the uh, add the users now I am giving the admission privileges of that computer to the my administrator means that administrator can access this remote machine from everywhere now show friend I don't have any show friend click next the name can be optional only thing is we have whenever we see we have to remember this that's it for our understanding purpose we need to create the delivery names all this so we have created mission log uh, catalogs and delivery groups now we need to assign the store friend. Store friend means in the previous versions it name as a web interface. Now it's a renamed as a store friend. So whenever the snap is not responding, click cancel only. Here we need to create a site. So create site. Here ABC for your understanding purpose. Here we need to add the delivery controller. This machine is only delivery controller. So click add and add. Here we can I am install in this machine only. I am giving type local host. If you have installed any another system, give the FQDN or IP address of that system. HTTP and OK. Click next next i don't have any vpn tunnel so i have created my site successfully my web interface been uh, has been created successfully now go uh, click on receive for web and go to uh, select the abc receiver anything store web or anything no problem just uh, uh, and go to the and go to the delivery groups for the for example uh, the go to delivery groups and add delivery group. here we need to add the store fit manually select automatically why well, because the users will access the desktop to uh, url only give the name name can be anything
select all uh, here you can add any number of uh, web interfaces in the real time we have two to three web interfaces that's it and select all this and click apply and okay here we are we have assigned the web interface now i am using windows server 2012 here i am going to my internet explorer and typing the url and i am accessing that uh, desktop in windows server 2012 click ok don't use rigman settings and type that url For the first time it will show that block in click add and add or trust it or close so this is my gen desktop 7 interface web interface click install here you need to install citrix receiver then only the desktop will deliver initializing and it, uh, citrix receiver is going to install Oh, yeah, okay, completed. Close, click close, and refresh the web value. That's it. Finish here. Type the domain, assign the user admin shader the def asher.com. Here, my desktops are there. Here, you cannot set error. You will get why means the desktop is already in use, so it will not give to another one. So, click here, log off. Okay, now it's free. Now we have to come like this and re just refresh. Now that you can see the Windows 7 desktop, here you feel like like just it is running in this machine only. The Fafa means also looks like just Windows 7. Here uh, you can access this from mobile like this only. Click close. So we successfully delivered the desktop uh, from some gen desktop 7.7 successfully. Thanks for watching this video.